This video will show you how to create a bubble chart. A bubble chart is a point type chart that uses the size of the points to represent the value of a measure. Begin by adding a new chart component into the dashboard. Drag the chart component from the panel on the left into the dashboard grid. Position and resize the chart as desired. Create a point type chart in the way that you ordinarily would. For information about creating basic charts and specific chart types, please see the other videos in this series. In this case, we'll have a dimension on the x-axis, the company field, and a measure on the y-axis, the total field. To change the default bar type chart to a point type chart, press the Select Chart Style button and select the point type chart. To make this point chart into a bubble chart, drag a measure into the size region of the visual panel. In this case, we'll represent the summed quantity purchased by the size of the points in the point chart. This is a basic bubble chart. You can represent other measures by using the color region or the shape region. For example, we might consider representing the average discount using a shape representation. Or, we might consider representing the same values using a color representation. Of course, you can also use a color representation or a shape representation to distinguish the values of another dimension. For example, region. Of course, you could also add additional dimensions to the X and Y axes. For example, we might place the date field on the Y axis together with the total. This gives a breakout of the data by year in addition to by company and by region. You can also have a measure on both the X and Y axis to produce a traditional scatter plot. In this case, we might group by company using color while displaying the total values on the y-axis and the quantity purchased summed values on the x-axis. Here again, we can create a bubble chart by representing a measure using the size of the points in this traditional scatter plot. We'll use the average discount as the size of the points. You can of course continue to add additional dimensions and measures to this chart. For example, here we'll place the region dimension on the x-axis, the date dimension on the y-axis, and use the shape of the point to represent the number of paid orders. The legends on the right side and the tooltip provide information about each point in the bubble chart. Please see the other chart videos in this series for more information about creating and editing charts.